All right, man, here we are. What is good, everybody? We are live here at San Diego Comic-Con 2024 for the full Mattel WWE action figure display and walkthrough. We're going to go through every single booth. I'm completely overwhelmed. There's so much shish to see and so much revealed, so many things we can talk about here. And we're going to get into everything I like, everything I don't like, and we're going to break down everything for you, man. But we're going to just get started on one of these booths, and we're going to run all the way through it, man, breaking down every single thing. And, of course, when we get back home, we'll break it down even further. But let's get into these displays, and then we will get into it in more detail. All right, man, we're starting off first in this far left booth. We have the LWO 5-pack Mattel Creation. Should be shipping out relatively soon, I imagine. But this entire top part, except for one figure, is going to be the Mattel Creations exclusive figures. We have a look at CM Punk. That should be coming relatively soon. He comes with both shirts there. Looks pretty good, and he has Ultimate Edition feet, which is something that I did not know that was going to be taking place. So he does have the Ultimate feet, which looks really, really good. I like that a lot. And then we have a look at a Top Picks Jey Uso, which is main event Jey Uso here. And this is not the Elite 114. So it, uh, I asked him, it's straight up nine. He's got a new, he's got the Ultimate Edition shoes going on and the blue and black that looks really good. Pretty good Jey Uso right here. He doesn't have the corrupt shirt, but I'm not that upset about it. It looks pretty damn good for a Jey Uso in the top picks wave. And then next up, guys, we do have the greatest hits. So these figures right here are going to be greatest hits up until Sheamus. So we do have a repeat Sheamus right there. And then if you remember this Natalia, this is actually going to be the unreleased Natalia that I think was supposed to be Walgreens exclusive like five years ago with her cat on the shirt that says paws out claws out but one thing i did notice is she has single jointed knees now that is very, very interesting take right there i don't know why they would do that but we do have two different decos here i think one is a chase figure right but i do believe this is a greatest hits line i could be mistaken but i want to say this is greatest hits i mean you have john cena here with the sculpted on bands from his 2013 gear in the navy blue i think this was elite 23 cena if i'm not mistaken which looks okay not bad it, i mean it's a it's a re-release john cena the khaki color is a little different and we do have you know true effects it's got the all the different bells and whistles going on i can't tell if the shirt is velcro i imagine it would be but i can't tell from this angle i imagine it's going to be though but john cena looks pretty good there you know re-releasing all these old cenas with the newer sculpted removable bands is okay but then we move over here we do have elite 113 we have kofi kingston here damn good kofi good head sculpt on there and you'll notice we no longer have john cena shoe mold it's a brand new sculpted shoe mold looks very good it looks like it's going to be a lot better and one thing that you'll notice throughout the video and i can't really touch on it right now but moving forward you're going to see new feet sculpted on each figure so you'll notice all these different feet so this is not the old standard boots these are brand new sculpted boots and the ankle articulation is going to be better on these elites so you'll notice it on carlito you'll notice it on some other figures moving forward i'm trying to find an example of it and you'll see it throughout but they have sculpted brand new feet even cody rhodes has new boots but the John Cena shoe mold being rid of is amazing, man. These look amazing. I, I like this. I think it's going to be a lot better for stability on our shelves. So that looks great. I like this Kofi. No shin cut, but I didn't expect it. So what do you want to do there? But we're moving on to Trick Williams. Great formula. Love the necklace. Head sculpt looks immaculate, I think. I like the formula, how jacked he looks. Uh, would it have been my first choice of torso? Probably not, but I still like the way it looks. NXT Championship and the white gear is chef's kiss. So I like Trick Williams a lot. He looks damn good. I like the way Trick Williams looks. Moving on from Trick Williams. We do have Macho Man CM Punk, a figure that has been highly anticipated. We've seen it in basic form from Mattel, but we've never seen it in elite form here. It looks really, really good. I think they nailed it. Double jointed arms, good likeness. It is the Elite 16 head sculpt for the most part, but it looks so damn good. Nobody, I don't think anybody's really going to care. But this is Elite Series 113 CM Punk. And we also have Carlito here, brand new head sculpt. Kind of looking like Randy Orton or something in the face. But I like this torso choice for Carlito. And you could probably makeshift this into a ruthless aggression Carlito if you really wanted to. But I like the formula going on. Maybe you could use bigger arms but he does have the apple of course which looks great tiffany stratton i don't know how i feel about it i think the head sculpt is a bit iffy you know or i guess tiffy you could say but the gear looks good from the neck down i think it's okay maybe you could head swap it with the basic but it, it looks pretty good it looks pretty good for the most part again newly sculpted boots on here which looks good and the head sculpt i don't know i feel like you know it could be a roman reign situation where you see it on display and it doesn't look as good as it does when it is finally done but i don't know the tiffany in render form it didn't look good and even here it doesn't really look that good either but we also have drag and Lee here and this looks to be a rubber coat which isn't the best but I don't know it's pretty highly detailed and it's not the biggest deal of all time I definitely I guess it's it's better that it's not a character that I'm necessarily over the moon for but it you know good use of the Sincar torso love the gear love these new boots down here as well all of it looks really good I know the guy's gonna be super poseable and I like the gear choice that they use for Dragon Lee so I do appreciate that and then we finally finish it up with I can't remember if this is the chase or the purple is the chase for Carlito I want to say the, the purple is the chase but the white attire Carlito with the apple grabbing hand right there biting into the apple 
looks really good in the white gear. So, but you'll notice the boots. This is what I'm talking about on the boots and you'll see it throughout the display. These are newly sculpted feet that I think are gonna add a ton to the line and make it, you know, a lot more fresh. And then coming down, we do have the Mattel Creations exclusive Dudley Boys right here. Very good looking. They look a lot better than they did in Mania because they're no longer prototypes. They actually have them all sculpted out and painted. They look way better than I was imagining as well. And we have these super large knee pads on there. I don't think they have the new boots. So if you look at the feet here, look at the feet on a traditional boot from the past. Look at the headbangers right here as well. You see the traditional feet that we used to get. This is the old boot mold or the old feet mold or foot mold that we used to get from Mattel. And then you compare it to the Carlito up here or some other figures we'll get into like the Batista right there. You can see a big difference in the feet, but we do have the head bangers as well we saw these on wrestlemania 40 so i don't want to spend a huge amount of time on them but they do look really good and then we have imperium here which also look good and it looks like they have the legs on the correct figures this time and they come with their entrance jackets which i didn't know so these look really damn good i, I like the imperium figures but all three of these two packs will be mattel creations exclusive and then the bottom row down here we do have the target exclusive tmnt crossover with xavier woods kofi kingston Rey mysterio seth rollins the beautiful mask cody rhodes and the roman rain shredder which we already know about we saw them at mania but they look damn good and i think they're starting to hit the west coast at least series one is so we'll have to be on the lookout for those but i'm super hyped for this wave but they are here on display at san diego comic-con moving over to the right we do have the legend series 24 now we did see these at wrestlemania but kurt angle looks good for rook i think the whole wave looks pretty damn good here i think every figure looks very quality and the two and one with nightheart is very awesome as well but this kurt angle looks good again man look at the boots here these are the older boot mold but they are improving the boots i'm telling you i've never reiterated it but just pay attention like look at the bret hart boots these are the newer foot mold here and this is going to be the next legends wave you have bret hart rick rude bradshaw and sid justice or sid vicious here psycho sid in this wave here and i, I think it looks good the all pink and white looks very good on bread i like the silver gray laces here as well rick rude now one thing you'll notice about the rick rude man look at the world title the big gold championship is re-sculpted and retooled we've been begging for this for years from mattel look at the jewels look at the thinness of the plates and then you can compare it to this world championship down here and how it's different this is the old mold versus the new mold over here and it looks infinitely better great job by mattel there and then the United States WCW Championship attire from Rick Rude looks amazing. The Bradshaw here also features brand new sculpted boots. And this is a immaculate boot mold right here. I like this a lot. Now, and now they have to redo so many people that have worn the cowboy boots because I think this looks infinitely better. But then we also finish it up with the Rick Rude here, the world title. And this is the, I don't remember which one's the chase. I don't remember if it's this one or the, uh, the United States Championship gear, but both of them look really damn good. And then we finish it up with Sid, who I feel like hasn't been in the line in a very long time. So he looks very, very good. Now, I guess, you know, I don't think the, the you know, the WWF championships retool, but I mean, if they retool the big gold, I would imagine that the, you know, other championships won't, you know, they'll soon follow. So we'll have to see, but I really like the head sculpt here on Sid, but this is our next WWE Elite Legends wave to Target. Down here, man, we have the Target exclusive WWE Elite three pack of Evolution. Now, this is something I did not see coming, but it's probably one of my favorite reveals. You have when Randy Orton won the world championship and Evolution or Triple H turned his back on him. You know, he's going to drop. They said that they're teasing some accessories for tomorrow that are going to go hand in hand with this. I'm guessing it may be a shocked face by Randy Orton or a pissed off straight face from Triple H, maybe both. But the cloth suit looks amazing for Triple H here. You know, maybe now we need a give me that belt, damn it. You know, Randy Orton spitting in Triple H's face. But brand new trunks here on Randy Orton. I like the new head sculpt. That is pretty much exactly what he looked like. Batista, messy hair head sculpt brand new attire love the new boots as well in the maroon just a fantastic set one of my favorite reveals you guys know how much i love evolution and that entire you know lore and history so i love that pack right there that's probably one of my favorite reveals of today and then we have the samoan dynasty three pack with Alpha and Sika with Roman Reigns here. The head sculpt is definitely not the faded beard Roman, and I don't think we got one here today. Maybe we'll get one reveal, but this is the men on card, and then we do have it loose over here. Now, one thing you're gonna notice immediately about these figures is they have Hulk feet. Now, the reason that they have these Hulk feet is because they did retool all the boots like we talked about multiple times in this video, but they uh, they didn't resample it. So this is actually just a sample. Hopefully it will be fixed by the time it releases, but these look really damn good. I think they did a great job here on the execution. Roman Reigns, yeah, the, the head sculpt's the repeat. I know that the hair is new they do have like the wet hair mold but the gold gauntlet's also sculpted on there and everything but yeah definitely not the faded taper beer but this pack does look pretty damn good not as good as the evolution pack but i i, I like this it's pretty cool two and one for the wild samoans from here we go down we have the new wrestlemania elite 
41 or WWE WrestleMania 41 Elite Wave with Bret Hart. We have WrestleMania 39 Seth Rollins here with brand new sculpted crotch, legs, all one of one here. We have Bianca Belair. We have chilling out the con Hulk Hogan right there with the shorter pants. He doesn't have the super baggy pants that he once had. And then the build a figure is Howard Finkel, which I think is a great addition. Really would like to update that Howard Finkel. And it's a great suited body for multiple guys. But I like this wave. You got Bianca, you got Hogan chilling out the con. You got WrestleMania 39 Rollins was in person to see that matchup. Beautiful looking figure. I love that so much. This is going to replace that, you know, that SummerSlam Rollins that I have so many of. This one would now be that one. So I got to buy a bunch of this figure. It looks amazing. And then we have Bret Hart here. And this head sculpt definitely does not look that great. And the lighting's pretty bad. So I apologize for that. But it, I like this wave overall. I, I, I don't hate this wave. I think it's okay. But Bret Hart's head sculpt, man, I don't know what's going on there. But this Seth Rollins is one of my favorite reveals, I think that we got here today, man. Just looks so damn impressive. So, man, we have the Build-A-Figure Great Cully Royal Rumble 2025 set featuring Hulk Hogan. Now, we did talk about this. This was kind of leaked out there, but I love every inclusion here. Every single figure blew away my expectations. Now, one thing you'll notice is 2023 Royal Rumble Cody Rhodes. Look what head sculpt they selected. They picked the Defining Moments head sculpt that we've been begging them to use. They finally used it. He still has the tattoo close to the ear, which is very bummy. But the attire looks amazing, and you'll notice here is his newly sculpted boots, which do have the new feet, sculpted new boots and everything. And I think by 2025, they said they want to, you know, get all the old shoe molds and boot molds out of the line. But he is pinless, but the gear is so damn fantastic. And being front row for that moment and everything, I'm so happy to finally have this figure. The Great Khali looks good. They did say that the beard is going to be included on the final production, but the torso's new. You have new arms and everything. I don't know about new arms. Maybe. I, I, I can't tell without something up next to it, but we do have newly tooled legs here and the boots down below for the great Kali. I wish it was debut Kali, but I'll take what we have here. And then we also have Diesel, which is a, you know, it's sort of a repaint of the Ruthless Aggression Kevin Nash, but I do like it. It looks okay. The Hurricane figure looks amazing. Brand new head sculpt and everything. He does have the white boots and the cape and everything like that. And then we do have the flag with the with our Hulk Hogan right here. So kind of an Elite 96 re-release, but it does come with the flag that he held up or the sheet, whatever the hell it was. And it does look really damn good. So I like this entire Royal Rumble set for the great Khali Build-A-Figure. Coming down from the WrestleMania figures, we do have the From the Vault series. Now, I'm very confused on the Yokozuna. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. I don't know if this is a Chase variant or what, but we just recently got him, you know, in the Ultimate Edition Legends, but I just think that's such a weird include. I don't know about the Yokozuna, but we do have the WrestleMania 39 Hulk Hogan figure from WrestleMania 18, which it's going to include the new torso repainted, which I guess it's not necessarily from the vault. I feel like it's more of a greatest hits figure, but I understand it. We all knew that they would re-release these figures, so it's a good repaint. It's going to be a great, it's a way better upgrade than the original figure, so that will be something to know, but we do have the Defining Moments WrestleMania 25. Shawn Michaels here in the white coat. White coat. <laughs> White coat looks amazing. I'm sure he'll come with the cowboy hat as well. But this is another figure that desperately needed a re-release. A lot of people have been wanting this figure for a while. So they did a great job. And it has the basic 100 head sculpt. So I know that is going to pop some people. But I think the biggest thing has got to be the SES CM Punk ringside exclusive re-release. I mean, we tried to put out the warning, man. We knew that it would be coming. But it looks pretty damn good. You have the sling in there, the mask that's going to be removable. He has the camo gear, double jointed arms, the nice looking kick pads as well. I know people are going to be breaking the bank on this. There's gonna, they're gonna absolutely, people are gonna be buying 20 of these. So, SES Punk is finally here, and I, I love it. I know a lot of people were losing their minds over this one, but we do have SES CM Punk from the next From the Vault set, and we all caught it, man. We all caught it, but. Tomorrow, maybe we'll get an Ultimate Edition CM Punk revealed. Then from there, we do go into the Defining Moments Ringside Exclusive 4-Pack. Now, we already know about these. I don't want to get too far into it, but there is a Pipe Bomb Punk, and then there is LA Knight right there. Still didn't belong in the damn freaking Defining Moments, man. Name a Defining Moment, man. I, I don't think so. I don't think so about that, but... There's the Defining Moments new set. On the other side of this booth, we do have this Greatest Grudges Amazon exclusive Ultimate Edition Papa Shango and Ultimate Warrior set, which is going to be going up for pre-order tomorrow. So at the time you're seeing this, it may be up, but this Ultimate Warrior jacket looks amazing. Really damn good. I love the colors, man. God, that doesn't even look like a Mattel figure. I don't know what's going on there. But we do have a basic mean gene that's going to come with a Hulk Hogan and a Championship Showdown pack. Very good looking basic mean gene. Looks very damn good. I like this mean gene a hell of a lot. I like the suit color and everything like that. And then we have Ultimate Edition Papa Shango right here, man. Look at the skull on the chain or on the beads. It looks amazing. 
love the cape. Very good Ultimate Edition. Not somebody that necessarily I would think of in Ultimate form, but I'm glad they did it. I'm glad that it looks damn good. Very good. And then you have the extra head sculpts over here, which also look very good. Maybe one day we'll get an Ultimate Edition Godfather. How about that? But I like to pop Shango and Ultimate Warrior 2 pack. This one kind of popped on us out of nowhere. And I thought it would just be a re-release of the Elite set, but this looks very damn good. Very, very high for it. I think they did a good job here on this ultimate edition ultimate warrior and papa shango set and then we have a look at the mattel creations and ring set exclusive rhea ripley ultimate edition now i know i did want the sternum tattoo on there it still looks good still looks good regardless of the fact she does not have the sternum tattoo but she does have her new women's world championship but i know a lot of people are going to be upset that you have to get the ring to get the rhea ripley ultimate edition i know people are going to be upset about that but this is a brand new ring you have the led posts you have the banners going across the sides i'm guessing they segmented it so that they could release other versions of this ring. I guarantee they're going to make a SmackDown version. You'll see that the apron goes all the way around. But the rear Ripley does look damn good. They got her musculature in there. They have the choker necklace. It's just, it, it does not have the sternum tattoo. But I know a lot of people are going to be upset that you have to buy the ring to get the Rhea. That is pretty upsetting. I'm pissed off about it. I, I don't like it. So I don't know. You know, it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do. But she would fly off shells. And I'm sure they're going to make some sort of version of her again in the main line. I'm sure, right? I mean, they have to. They have to remake a Rhea, hopefully. But this figure is going to be very sought after. Very, very sought after. So as soon as the pre-order goes up this week, I would grab it. Over in this booth, man, we do have the Monday Night Wars Elites. We have a showcase of DDP here with the Chase. I love the, the regular version is immaculate. But this is going to be the best of Monday Night Wars set, I imagine. Redo of the Hall of Champions, Eddie Guerrero. We have a redo of the Six figure with a new head sculpt. And then we do have a re-release of Shawn Michaels in the black and silver with the European Championship. With knee pads. Actually added knee pads there with the Build-A-Figure Virgil. So that is pretty interesting. We have Hittig here with the with the guitar and everything. Very, very cool two and one going on. And then we have Ultimate Warrior here, which is in the new in the newest set. We have the best of Triple H over here, which we knew was coming as well. We have the build a figure Dusty Rhodes, which we figured was coming out of those images that we saw, but he's got the WCW microphone. Very cool. And I bet you could use that base for somebody else, but he does have the NWO hat in there. And it is off-colored. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not, but it is something that you know to point out. We have Stone Cold Steve Austin here. Knew about this figure for a while now. It looks very damn good. Love the watch accessory. Build a figure Sean in the suit, which looks amazing. Love the turtle. Well, I guess it's not turtle neck, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. You smell them when I'm stepping in over there. We we'll look at the yellow razor. Very good looking, even if I don't really, you know, put it together with Monday Night Wars. But you'll notice on the vest, this is cloth goods. That's a cloth goods vest. That is not a rubber vest. And it looks good. This is a damn good figure. Really good razor right here. And then we also have another six figure, which we knew was coming in that same Monday Night Wars set. And that is going to be the best of. So that's the flashback exclusive to Walmart back in the day. And now it's essentially getting redone, but in worse gear, in my opinion. You know, so you're kind of having a, uh, a re-release right there. And then we have Bam Bam back there, which was also in the Legends wave. We have a redo of the Elite 47 Boss Man back there. And then we have the Lita figure that we saw just recently. And then we have the newest set, or the Series 3 set, Men on Car back there. But I don't know, not anything here that really stands out in a huge way to me besides Austin and maybe DDP. But everything else is just kind of eh to me. It's kind of meh. But I don't know. You can let me know what you think of this. But I do like to build a figure Dusty. And then the Ultimate Warrior does look really strong here up front. Moving on, guys, we do have the Ultimate Editions. Now, this is a set we've already reviewed on the channel. John Cena, Jey Uso, and Gunther already reviewed these. But what we haven't reviewed yet is the Amazon exclusive Seth Rollins, which I think goes up for pre-order tomorrow. Really highly anticipating this Seth Rollins. I love the orange. It looks so good. So toyetic and fire, literally. So we will have to see what comes of it. But it does look good here on display. But coming down, we do have Ultimate Edition Series 23, Dominic, LA Knight, and Rey Mysterio from their epic clash at WrestleMania 39. I call this Bible Man Rey Mysterio because the mask reminds me of Bible Man, but I really like the colors here. Just very good. You know, you got newly sculpted boots in here. Got some new head sculpts and everything. I call this Bible Man WrestleMania 39 Rey Mysterio. We have LA Knight here, which is very similar to the Defining Moments, but it'll have a few more bells and whistles, but he has the Jordan 11 inspired boots, which is exactly what I've been wanting. So this looks damn good. Love these boots. One of the best wrestling boots in the game right now. Have the LA Knight signature hands. Got some new head sculpts in here. Not my favorite head sculpts, but yeah, I guess they'll suffice. And then we do have Dominic from WrestleMania 39 here, and they do have the mass head sculpt right there, which looks like Ray, but it also looks like Dominic. So I think they did a good job here. He's got the handcuffs. You have the interchangeable jacket. So this actually looks very good. What's wasn't that hype for it, but I think they did a really good job on the Dominic Mysterio Ultimate Edition. And then moving over from Rey Mysterio, guys, we do have the pitch black match Bray Wyatt here. Now, he only has the blue light or the black light arms and head on there. He is going to come with interchangeable arms and head that are not black light, but 
All the paint detail looks immaculate. I think the face sculpt looks great. Newly sculpted torso as well. But the bottom half is going to be reuse of a Ultimate Edition Fiend figure. So there is that. But I think this figure looks really damn good. I, I fantasy booked that they would put this under black light for the display. They didn't do it. They didn't want anything to do with that. But the figure still looks really damn good. And then we do have the Great Muda right here, which looks very good. Tongue out head sculpt. A very, I mean, very early prototype, obviously. But it is coming in Ultimate Edition Series 25. But I am feeling this a lot. I think this looks really good. You got the gi in there. Legs look solid. I mean, it's very, very early on, so it's kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see the vision of what we have going here. But we do have the Ultimate Edition Bray Wyatt and Muda alongside the Rey Mysterio, LA Knight, and Dominic Mysterio figures. And then if we drop it down, we do have the Steiner Brothers, which are ringside exclusive, which should be hitting relatively soon. I imagine both of these would be hitting relatively soon simply because we already have men on card shots. We have packaging. I mean, they dropped the packaging and the loose versions of this. We never even saw renders of the Steiners, but the Letterman jackets look good. They look just as good as they did in the photo, so I'm really hyped for the for the Steiner brothers. And then we do have the Outsiders here with Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, which look very damn good as well. Another Ultimate Edition to add to the collection with the Scott Hall. And Nash, I think I like Nash better than Hall, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm really feeling these head sculpts too. The Yelling Head Sculpt and the WCW World Tag Team Championships. These look really, really good. And then we do have the Outsiders packaging, which looks, looks great alongside the signers and i'm pretty sure the usos had the same style packaging with the ring set exclusive going on so that's also something that they kept going which i think is a really cool detail and then moving on to more ultimates we do have vader here with the chase variant this is going to be target exclusive legends ultimate he does have his cape in there and these head sculpts look really good man they did a really good job on vader never would have really you know wanted a vader ultimate but now that i see it i think i do actually want to see that so we'll, we'll see man but we do have dusty here which looks good reuse of some head sculpts but i like this man look at the coloration here man look at the details on this dusty very good job on dusty here i like this torso you got the polka dots going on and then we also have a look at undisputed champion hulk hogan which looks so good man look at this pointer head sculpt right there man oh my goodness or pointer head sculpt you know what i mean like he's like what the hell are you doing brother so i like that a lot the knee pads man i know a lot of people are gonna be excited and we do have the newer weight belt which i still don't like but it's better than it used to be so i you know what you just got to take your small so your small w's you got to take the small w's you got the knee brace very very good ultimate right here a, a perfect inclusion to the ultimate edition line but then one that i did not expect is lex down here man did not expect lex luger but that screaming expression looks damn good and another guy that i did not expect but he does have the newly tooled world championship and the nwo with the towel which looks great and then we do have triple h here on the wwe side which i love i love this torso it's newly sculpted torso newly sculpted head sculpts you have the game over shirt this is a, a damn good ultimate now all we're waiting on is you know return triple h in the in the denim that's really what we need next but i like both of these ultimates i did not expect lex luger though that kind of popped me a little bit and then we have eddie guerrero and mankind which i've yet to review but these should be i imagine when we return home from comic-con we will have a review up of these guys next up we do have some knuckle crunchers we have john cena the rock cody rhodes damian priest with the money in the bank briefcase we have finn balor in the line Bobby Lashley, we have Jey Uso, that's a damn good Jey Uso, and then we have a newer version of Roman Reigns, so he is going to come with red boots and everything, so we do have some newer versions of characters, I really like this line, I'm going to continue to collect this line, but I popped pretty good seeing, you know, new figures of these guys, got the new Undisputed Championship on Cody down there, and then we do have AJ Styles down here with Jimmy Uso, great looking head sculpt, Sheamus, a newer Seth Rollins, we have Dominic Mysterio and Rey Mysterio, and then we do, I think that's John Cena under there, if I'm not mistaken, but then we have a WrestleMania 39 ring, which I think is pretty interesting. So I guess we're going to get a WrestleMania 39 ring with one of these figures, maybe Roman. I'm not I'm not sure who it's going to come with, but it'll come with one of these figures. But I like the Knuckle Crunchers line. I was hyped to see some new characters included here, like my man Finn Balor over there. We do have the Superstars line. We have some new additions here, man. We have Jim the Anvil Nightheart. We have a throwback Cactus Jack, which I did not expect. And then we do have Bret Hart, who looks damn good as well. So new additions to the Superstars line. All of these look good. And I really like the color over here on razor and this this booth right here is very lit up so i like these a hell of a lot and you guys know tomorrow we're gonna get even more reveals at the panel and everything so that should be fun but i definitely want to come over here and cover the superstars line trying to wrap it up because actually comic-con preview night's about to close down but we do have some retros over here sean michaels british bulldog we have isaac yanko and lundra blaze and we do have brother love in the ring with the new retro ring here in purple which looks very good as well. Not my favorite set of all time, but I don't know. I, I do dabble in some retros and everything like that, but we do have some new retros on display. And here is this year's San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Shawn Michaels Ultimate Edition from WrestleMania 12. They do have him on the zip line right here going across the display case. And then you have a shot of the packaging over here, which looks amazing. This is not for sale at the con itself.
off though, which I think is very disappointing, but I am hyped for this figure and hopefully I can uh, pre-order one tomorrow. I think it goes up for order tomorrow, but you have this thick packaging that looks great and Sean looks very cool here on display as well. So I'd like this a lot better than Muhammad Ali. I don't know about you guys. I wish it was a two pack kind of, but I'll take a WrestleMania 12 Ultimate Sean. I think, it, I don't know, you know, it's it's skippable if you want to skip it. And it, you know, a lot of people say it didn't scream Comic-Con. I get it, but I like it. I personally do like it and am a fan of the figure itself. And I think the last booth we have here, man, is going to be the Coliseum Collection booth, which is going to feature the next series, which is Ted DiBiase and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Now, we did see these on display at WrestleMania 40, but we do have a little bit better images here. You know, they look a lot better than they did. I think they include some accessories that we didn't see on display last time, but then you have the rest of the Coliseum Collection. No word yet on Series 6, but I'm sure we'll probably get that tomorrow at some point during the panel. But we do have the Heart Foundation. You have Roddy Piper, George the Animal Steel. But the newest additions here are Ted DiBiase and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. But that wraps up your Coliseum Collection display here at San Diego Comic-Con 2024. And then right here in the middle, finishing it up, we do have the main events or the championship showdown packs. A lot of different basics strung throughout. It looks like that WWE Spinner Championship is kind of molded like that. So it looks like it's halfway spinning. I don't know if you heard that, but it's closing in 30 minutes. So I got I to gotta rush. I still got to go make a video of the AEW display. But you have a bunch of different basics throughout here. We'll, we'll do a video covering them all. You do have the Royal Rumble Punk here, Bret Hart Punk, which looks very, very good. Jey Uso over there. It looks like they did give Solo. It looks like they gave him Johnny Gargano Syndrome, but it is on a basic, so I don't really I don't really care that much. It's not that big of a deal. And then one thing I wanted to talk about in this booth is if you look back there, you'll see the Mean, mean Gino Mania with that Mean Gene that we talked about. But then over here, we have a couple basics that I want to get into, and I'm also noticing on Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, it's sporting like a brand new torso. But look at that, man. He looks jacked as hell. But look at the, you know, the iconic snake arms, Stone Cold Steve Austin basic. I wish that was an elite, but look here on the Roman, man. It looks like they attempted the faded tapered beard, but it's not there, right? The beard's way too thick, but the side of the hair is pretty accurate. It's almost there. It's almost there. If I, you know, if I acetoned off the beard and repainted it, it would look pretty good. I don't know. You know, it looks like they're making strides there. And the shoe mold, it looks to be a new basic shoe mold down there, as you'll see on Roman Reigns. That looks to be like Air Forces almost is what the sculpt kind of looks like. But just a bunch of random basics in here, you know, that it's kind of hard to cover them all, especially on a time crunch. But I wanted to get in here and cover them here at the end so you guys could see some of the different basic figures that are going to be coming out. But Ricky the Dragon looking crazy over there. But I like that Austin and I like the Roman Reigns attempt. You know, we'll have to see what comes of it. I could always repaint it maybe, but we need a new sculpt. We need a new faded taper beard Roman. Maybe it's coming tomorrow at the panel. Anyways, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up preview night of San Diego Comic-Con 2024. WWE action figure covers tomorrow morning is the panel and at the time of recording this it's legitimately midnight I think and back home it's like 2 a.m. and I had to leave my house at 3 a.m. to even make it here on time so I have been up almost 24 hours and that is why I look like a corpse but I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video we're going to do panel coverage we'll do another sweep of the booth it should be a fun day and I'll also do a video of the AEW figure display I did one tonight but it was trash because I legitimately filmed it with five minutes left on the clock and you never want to do that, man. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate you fellas, man. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support on the channel. But I'm getting the hell out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.